Hi and uh, welcome to another video from Casual Games. Today we're going to actually take a look at GeForce Now and specifically playing Elite Dangerous on GeForce Now. And Elite Dangerous is a game I've played for years. I'm not really a hardcore player, but I enjoy it from time to time, flying around, doing a bit of trading, exploring, and, and whatnot. And for many years I just played it on my laptop with a pretty basic joystick and mouse and keyboard sometimes. But um, it, when the Odyssey expansion was announced, I was actually pretty excited because, you know, if you're a space geek and you like to fly around in spaceships and even land on planets and drive around like you could with uh, Elite Dangerous and Horizons, that was cool. But to be able to step out of that ship or out of your little buggy, moon buggy or whatever you want to call it, oh, that's the next step. And that was pretty exciting to hear. Now, unfortunately, as uh, you all know, the Odyssey launch wasn't the smoothest and performance-wise, Odyssey was a bit of a nightmare. And I experienced that too. It, it didn't work well on my laptop at all, where before I could fly around and have a lot of fun, it was just horrific. The frame rates were horrible. I couldn't really do a whole lot, so I kind of stopped playing it because I really wanted to experience it, but I couldn't. And that's when I remember that uh, GeForce Now allows you the ability to play Elite Dangerous through the cloud. And I couldn't help but wonder, maybe there's a better way to do this. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that um, Elite Dangerous works really well on GeForce Now. And uh, with the 3080 tier in particular, it, you know, it's fantastic. I, I love it. Now, the, the one um, problem, of course, is with lead danger is you're kind of limited to your control options there you can only really use keyboard and mouse or you can use a game controller like an xbox game controller or a playstation or whatever you have connected to your computer you can't use the the hotas setups the joysticks and throttles that i like to use and i've used for a while now and um, that kind of bummed me a little bit it, it kind of turned me off initially to trying it on geforce now but then I discovered Joy to Key, and it, that's a cool little application that lets you remap the, the keyboard controls of pretty much any game to a, a controller that you might have plugged into your PC. Let me let me show you real quick. So here, here it is. There's a Joy to Key website, and uh, you can download it and try it for free. But this allows you to remap your controller responses to the keys so that you can actually in, in geforce now you just uh, in elite you just set whatever keys you want to use on the keyboard to the corresponding movements on your joystick and here's an example of my uh, setup that i've been trying to play around with um as you can see i have uh, various keys on the keyboard set up to my joystick response is here. So left and right, up and down, uh, throttle, various buttons. And uh, those are uh, the buttons I have then configured in Elite Dangerous to actually make those movements. So let's go take a look and see how that works. I'm not going to do anything fancy. Take the spaceship out for a spin, just exit the space station and come right back in. So let's uh, go ahead and fire it up. Here we are, here's uh, Elite Dangerous Odyssey uh, starting up. Uh, as you can uh, probably tell if you play this game, I skipped through a lot of the early parts just to get right into the game. And uh, this is preparing the planet generation system. This is actually the one little thing that bugs me about the GeForce Now version of this game is every time you start it up, it's got to do this. 
if you play this on your desktop, it does it, you know, the first time, or and there's significant changes. Uh, so it takes a few minutes, and what I'm going to do here is just uh, uh, skip ahead. And here we are. And uh, what I'm going to do first here is give you a quick look at uh, options. And uh, let me just say this too, that uh, for me the options are very, at this point, I'm still experimenting with them, trying to figure out what works best. And as you can see here, these correspond with uh, what I will have in uh, joy to key And uh, what I'm doing is a, in the preset, you can have keyboard, keyboard plus mouse, joystick, and so on. And uh, Look at there, your game may stutter or stop as you, if your connection doesn't improve. And honestly, it rarely does that. Uh, that's, you know, with GeForce Now, that I see that pop up, you know, once a week maybe. And it still seems to work fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, so it, it's, uh, I'm still experimenting with this, and I would encourage you if you try GeForce Now and uh, Joy to Key, give it a shot and just. Uh, you know, play around with the controls, uh, you'll find uh, the link to the keys that I use in the description of this video, so you take a peek down there. Uh, but all I'll do, do for right now is, uh, I'm just going to hop in our ship here, and what we're going to do is take a spin. We'll just launch from the station where I'm at, and I can't remember where I'm at at the moment. We'll just launch, we'll go out, and come right back in, just to give you a sense of what it's like. Uh, but I'm using and I'm using a uh, on the joystick side. I'm using a Thrustmaster um, Joystick uh, and throttle combination that works really well. I'll have the description down below um, I, I'm sorry the link rather down below in the description and Looks like we're in Ashby City So what we'll do here, we'll just uh, uh, launch real quick, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. And, uh, Go ahead and uh, take off. The undercarriage landing gear up, and let's move to the exit. Now, um, the one little quirk here, as you can see, I'm speeding up pretty quick here, and this is the one thing I haven't quite figured out yet with Joy to Key is when you assign the throttle uh, uh, combo, uh, it doesn't quite work. Um, the way you would expect it to, in the sense that normally when you when you have a throttle, what it'll do, it, it's kind of like analog. You know, you push it a little bit, and uh, you'll move a little bit. But with the go to key, it's you know you push it forward, and it's going to keep increasing until you pull it back to neutral, and stop again, which uh, is a little bit annoying. So, okay, so let's see if we can squeeze between these ships here. Uh, so that's the only thing that really I found that really doesn't quite function the way I would want it to. Um, and uh, there's not a whole lot that I can do about that right now. I haven't quite figured out how to change that at this point. So I'm just gonna I've gotten used to it. So so I'll give let me give an example here. I push four. I just push forward on the throttle too. As you can see, it's kind of increasing. Uh, if you keep it up there, you do, you'll just keep going. So you go back to neutral, like right now. And so I'm going to pull back. And now I'm putting it in, in reverse, if you will. And it's uh, going by down to zero. So, okay, so let's take a look around here. So we should be at our station here a little further out and we're just going to request docking permission again here and uh, 
and go back and dock again. And the one thing you want to keep an eye on here with the, your function keys, on the throttle that I have, you have the X, A, B, and Y buttons. And when you play this game natively on just desktop top, top installation, those buttons are usually used in combination with something else. And you can do that with George the key as well, but what I found is when I want to hop over here, which is on the side, uh, that's X usually and a combination of some other button. But because the default setting is also set to hard points, every time I do that, I'm deploying my hard points, which is an inconvenience. So, uh, what I, I would recommend is that if you end up using Joey to key for this, is that you leave whatever key combination you use for the X, A, B, and Y buttons, leave those unassigned to anything else so that you can use them you know, with other combinations. That seems to work best for me. Um, Alright, so here we're kind of speeding a little bit here. We don't want to do that. So we're going to slip up to. And I'm going to admit here, as I'm playing this uh, demo here, I actually signed the wrong button to my pitch up and down. So it's actually reverse. So it's a little cumbersome to it. It's not what I'm used to, so it feels kind of weird. It works, but that's why I'm kind of... Um, yeah, it's not as natural as it normally is. It feels a little hot. And you don't have your control set the way you absolutely want it to. All right, so we made it in. I'm just gonna slowly cruise over here to our landing spot at pad 23 and uh, like I said it, it's um, the joy to key solution isn't perfect by any means uh, for the you know for most things except the throttle it works pretty well and I still working on configurations for like the, the targeting and some of the non-navigation stuff but beyond that what I have done so far and what I've been using just for regular trading seems to work well so it's one of those I'm taking it in stages with the configuration part for me to get things set up and um, okay this guy next to me here is pretty close but uh, anyway, it's okay anyways we're gonna come in for landing here um, take it slow out and uh, here we are in Ash PC and um, so that's uh, a quick demo of GeForce Now with the joystick and throttle um, and uh, Elite Dangerous Odyssey that's um, it's uh, for me it enhances the game quite a bit to be able to use my joystick and throttle and uh, hopefully Joy to Key this will It'll do the same for you and uh, this is obviously on windows but you can do the same thing on linux and that's usually my primary platform uh, for uh, playing around i found that for some reason lately everything seems to work better on windows i'm not sure why but i'll uh, be posting a, a blog post together with this video on my blog casualgames.com that will have the, the app i use on the linux side as well uh, I use Pop OS, and uh, it works pretty well on there as well. Uh, so anyway, I hope this has been useful, and uh, uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. If you find a good key combination that works really well, don't hesitate to share it in the comments below. 
like I said, I'm exploring this and learning as I go. So I, if you have a great combination that works real well for navigating and for everything else, I'd love to hear it. Thanks again for watching and enjoy Elite Dangerous on GeForce Now.